The BIM protocol is effectively a contract. So it's a contract bolt-on, it's titled the Model Enabling Amendment, and it's designed to fit with any of the forms of contract that we use in the industry at the moment. And basically it just deals with things like data exchange, responsibilities, level of detail of the, of the model and the development process. And again, there's the inevitable uh, sort of responsibility matrix which says who does what when and what are they going to produce, all that sort of stuff. So it's a contract matrix, it's filled as a, um, a, a template and you can use it as an addendum to a main contract and that's it. And this is, this is produced by Dale Sinclair, he calls it the contract cartography which is how these things fit together on a contract the sort of uh, the why and the what of contract, who's doing what, when and how, uh, the backup information you, knew, you need to support that and how this translates into a BIM environment. So you've got your contract documents which is composed of your appointment and your protocol for your consultants, contractors proposals, employers requirements, you'll be familiar with that, scopes of service, project outputs and then that's supported by standards and plans of work and project specific um, items like the Puzzle 92 process and libraries of information, then you'll have a BIM execution plan and so on. <coughs>